Hey everybody, this is Wes from the Console Gaming Crew Podcast, and we want to proudly say that we are a part of the Boss Rush Network at BossRush.net. BossRush.net is a place where you can find up-to-date news articles, blogs, and podcasts about video games. In addition to that, there is a growing collection of podcasts, not just in the gaming community, but other communities as well. We are honored to be a part of such a great network of podcasters and content creators. So please stop by and give everyone a listen at BossRush.net. Thank you, and enjoy the show. Yo, remembers how y'all doing? Stop with the shit, the two of you. Knock it the fuck off. Hi. Jesus. Howdy ho. Oh, I fucking <laughs> quit, boys. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. So, oh. Wes, why don't you tell us what we're doing today, huh? Well, according to how you say it, we're cleaning out the hard drives and getting ready <laughs> for the will, first and free. You, you will never in your life let that go. I haven't said that in like seven months. <laughs> Doesn't matter. You, you will it. never let it but, go. But, yo, you said it for like a solid six. Yeah, he's he's got a point. Okay, if I said it for a solid eight, it would <laughs> okay. buy you another month. But if I said it for a solid six and I haven't said it in seven, it's, it's, it's yours now. It doesn't matter. Now. No, doesn't you can't matter. credit me anymore. You've, no, no, you've it's re- all you. It's, it's, been, it's been rebranded. No, no, it hasn't. It hasn't. No, it's two against one right now. But then went back to Andy. Ain't that yeah, shit? it's definitely Andy's. Wow. That's how that works. You two. All right, y'all. No, no, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Blue Stop. and red beaters look like you're about to fucking compete on American Gladiator or some shit. Yeah. Okay, yeah, look at you. Why, look at you with the white V neck going ahead over <laughs> here looking over here looking like Jennifer Lopez with the fucking dress. I'm the rep. You over here getting your cleavage out, man, with that fucking V neck. Get the fuck out of here. It's that uh it's uh that's why it's there. Man Meet Saturday with Wes and Anthony uh featuring, featuring. you. <laughs> you're just you're just the feature. You're not the actual show. You're not yeah, you're not the feature act. You're, yeah. You're just you're just here. You're you're, you're the just, co-star cuz Wes definitely has a little bit of a deeper some deeper skin showing. <laughs> <laughs> That's, his, he's his got he's got deeper west. skin and more side boob, <laughs> which I'm 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 I got a little chub going right now. You got me going. All right, you need to chill, pal. <laughs> yeah, bro. I'm pitching. I'm pitching ten over here. If you could put your little, if you put your tetas away, bro. Fuck no. Free the nipple. Fuck yes. <laughs> hey, can we get? I mean, this is like well, we haven't even started our show yet. But no, we, we haven't. Can we get a shirt that says "Free the nipple"? I mean, I'm sure uh, we can do something with our logo to do it. That would be so much fun. I'm sure we could. I think it'd be a decent seller. I, I got buy. ideas. I got some um, ideas. All right, just don't put actual like boobies on it. No, 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 no. I'll make it. I'll make it classy. All right, I'll <laughs> the work whole on. Front I'll make of the shirts like tits, and you're like, oh, well, class. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, but it's cool. Right. in front of them. Class. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Classic. Cla- wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so much class. Incredible dad joke. Just saying. <laughs> Uh, Two and a half minutes in. So, Andy, how about you tell us? Since you don't like the way I did it, what are we doing? You already, you, you already said it. <laughs> you already said it. So, what I'm gonna do is tell people what they can get for July of 22 with Xbox Games for Gold. July. Games with Gold. Pardon me. So, the Games with Gold lineup is here on Xbox One and Xbox Series X and S. Capture photos of the wondrous beasts of Maravilla Island, and survive being stranded on a desolate moon base in Relic Relicta. And for classic lineup via backwards compatibility, build and ride roller coasters in Thrillville off the rails and roam dangerous dungeons in Torchlight. Relicta is a very, like, that is a very strange name. Okay. It's an aggressive name. Right? Yeah. It's, so it's let's start. I think they with... have one of the other Torchlights on Game Pass. Well, maybe. So let's start with Beasts of Maravilla Island, available July 1st to the 31st. Unlock the wonder by taking pictures of the elusive and beautiful creatures on a mysterious dreamlike island. Explore a 3D jungle teeming with unusual and playful life. Climb, explore, and solve puzzles. Use your grandfather's journals and his trusty old camera to snap pics of otter crocodiles, birds disguised as bananas, and much more. It's up to you and your photographer's eye to help share Maravilla's magic with the world. So that sounds like a mix between, like, Bug Snacks, Bug snacks and fucking Pokemon. Pokemon Snap. Yeah. Yeah. That's weird. Um, yeah, yo, you caught me off guard with the... Um... With hiding as like a banana and the birds disguised as bananas yeah, yeah that kind of threw me off uh, exactly so uh moving right along to relicta available july 16th to august 15th. watch your mouth i feel like i'm saying something dirty play as you a are. physicist stranded on an eerie derelict moon base find your way by bending gravity and magnetism to your will buried in the like darkness fun. Yeah, right. Buried in the darkness of the lunar craters is a secret that might claim your daughter's life or change the fate of humanity forever 
solve puzzles in a game where every corner holds a mystery and each step is a challenge. Next, we have Thrillville Off the Rails, which I've actually played. Um, which I've actually played. Available July first to fifteenth. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why I put so much enunciation on that part of that word or that sentence. I have See, no you idea. Had to say it twice, uh, right? <laughs> so, okay. Love okay. That. Okay. 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 Come on, keep going. Keep going. Um. What the fuck? Where's my... There it is. Uh, design and run your own theme park. With five new parks and 100 new missions, you'll need an all-day pass to enjoy this much fun. The best part about creating crazy roller coaster rides is you get to ride them as many times as you want. So yeah, Thrill of the Rails is another one of those roller coaster tycoon... It's a tycoon type of game, basically. It's, you know, it really doesn't need a whole lot of explaining. Uh, Torchlight. Hack and slash your way through dungeons galore. Choose from among three character classes as you roam from the center and the safety of town and Torchlight into randomly generated dungeons to battle hordes of monsters and collect lots of loot. You'll have trusty animal companion at your side as you take on main quests, side quests, battle big bosses, and chat with the denizens of the town. And that is what you can get with Xbox Live uh, Games with Gold for July 22. That's Beast of Maravilla Island, available July 1st to the 31st. Relicta, excuse me, available July 16th to August 15th. And then via backwards compatibility, you get Thrillville off the rails, available July 1st to the 15th. And Torchlight, available July 16th to the 31st. And that'll take us right into Anthony with the PlayStation shit. Uh, So all of these games I'm going to be going through are starting uh, available July 5th. Um, also, I'd like to go over that the new PlayStation Plus is available. They have the PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Extra, PlayStation Premium. Um, I think we did talk about possibly going through some of the games that we're gonna that are gonna be available for uh, the new PlayStation Plus, but that'll be after I go through the uh, the free and new games for PlayStation. Uh, now, the games that are available for the PlayStation, uh, the month of July is Crash Bandicoot Four. Uh, it's about time. Uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology, Man of Median, and uh, Arcade Geddon. Ooh, yeah. Arcade-geddon. So we'll start with uh, Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time. An all-new crash adventure awaits. Uh, Dr. Neocortex and N Trophy are back at it again, launching an all-out assault on not just this universe, but the entire multiverse. Wield four powerful guardians of space and time that give Crash and Coco the power to bend the rules of reality and conquer dangerous obstacles in exciting new ways. And you're, you'll you not only play as the whomping, jumping marsupial duo, uh, experience things uh, from different perspectives as one and only as... Okay, with the one and only Dr. Neocortex, play as Crash Coco... Taiwana, Dingo Dial, or Dr. Uh, Neocortex and battle bosses such as N. N. Jin, Luis, Nitrous, Nitrous Brio, and Nefarious Trophy. A Nitro uh, Burrito? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, next is oh, yeah. the Dark Pictures <laughs> Anthology, Man of Median. Uh, in this branching cinematic... Uh, now, what's really cool about this, uh, Andy, I don't... Have you ever heard of this? Yeah, I actually recommended it to Wes for a Freaky Friday. I had no idea about this until I literally they, uh, just read this. Yeah, they have a, they have another one. The Dark... Uh, uh, what is it called? Dark... Whatever. Dark so, something anthology? Yeah, so this is Dark pi- Dark Pictures Anthology, Pictures, Man of Median. Yeah. In this branching cinematic horror game from the creator of Until Dawn and The Quarry, five friends set sail on a holiday diving trip that soon changes into something much more sinister. Uh, All playable characters can live or die, uh, just like Until Dawn, with the choices you make deciding their fate. Experience your terrifying terrifying, story alone with friends online, or go for safety in numbers with a five-player offline. That's pretty cool. Five-player, that's just, that's an odd number. Yeah. Yeah, uh, and um, last yeah. but not least is Arcade Geddon. Uh, Gilly, the owner of her local arcade, is trying to save his business from a faceless mega corporation, Fun Fun Co. Uh, and what better way to stick it to the man than with a brand spanking new super game? 
Unfortunately, the corp gets wind of Gilly's plan and launches a cyber attack, injecting a virus into the game. Uh, now it's up to you to rise up and save both game and last remaining local arcade in this ever-evolving co-op multiplayer shooter, offering a mix of PvE, PvP gameplay, and up to three friends online to explore multiple biomes and compete in mini games, find hidden chests, and battle a crazy cast of enemies and bosses. Um, yeah. So again, all of these games are going to be, av- <coughs> excuse me, available uh, July fifth, which is a Tuesday. Word. Yeah. Me. So Rawr. yeah, uh, Mia. The last time she uh, slept over, beat the uh, the Dark Pictures anthology. She was playing it. Oh shit! Nice. But as soon as I as soon as I found out that it was um, the same people that, that that made Until Dawn, that's why I was like, well, kind of perfect. Going to perfect. All right, Wes, All right. you want to uh, take us through the absolute stuff? So not only do I have a list for the new stuff for July, I also have a quick little list of the games that are coming to Xbox on Game Pass in July as well. Beautiful. So we'll start off with what has already been here. So July 1st, we got F122 for PS5, Series S and X, PS4, and Xbox One, oh. as well as uh, Parasite Pack which is for the PS5 series S and X, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. July 7th, we have Match Point Tennis Championships, and that's going to be for the PS5 series S and X, PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And then July 8th, we have Kelowna uh, Fantasy Reverie Series. That's going to be coming out for the Switch. July 14th, we have Zell XEL, which is going to be coming out for the Switch. And the 19th, we have As Dusk Falls that's going to be coming out for the Series S and X. I've heard a lot about that one. As have I. Uh, Endling, Extinction is Forever for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And Horizon, Forza Horizon 5 Hot Wheels DLC, which is going to be coming out for the Series S and X and the Xbox One. Again, let's go ahead and remind people that is not that is not a DLC that comes to you for free on Game Pass. You will have to pay for it. Correct. Okay. Well. July 21st, we have Hell Pie. That's for the PS5 series. That's the next PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. Hell Pie? Hell that Pie. Sounds, that sounds dirty, and I don't it like it. It does sound dirty. Hey, hey, can I Maybe help Maybe a little bit you? of splotching happening, happens in that one. Can, Jesus. Okay. If Carry you don't on. know about it, Google it. Just don't do it around right. kids. Uh, also, on the 21st, you have Wayward Strand, and that's for the PS5 series. That's the next PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. July 22nd, we have Capcom Arcade Second Stadium for the PS4, Xbox One, and Switch. And Live Alive, on, uh, that's going to be for the Switch. And the last game that I have that is new is for July 29th. It is Story of Seasons, Pioneers of Olive Town. That's going to be coming out for the PS4. So the games that we have coming to Game Pass starting July 5th is going to be Cursed Island. Uh, Cursed Island is a story of a one person's attempt to leave an island that's full of mysterious horrors and imaginable monsters, unimaginable monsters. To achieve this task, he must smash his way through the island with a trusty pickaxe. Another one that we're going to have, this one is actually going to be Xbox One X Enhanced, is Rush Rally Origins. That one's also going to be on July 5th. Rush Rally Origins combines the classic top-down racing action from original Rush Rally with the highly praised graphics and physics from Rush Rally 3. Take on 36 new and unique stages across the world, each with the ability to change the time and day and weather. Drive over many challenging surface types, including snow, gravel, dirt, mud, and tarmac. Uh, July 6th, we have Over Rogue, and this one is going to be smart delivery for the series S and X, and it also is optimized. Uh, proceed through this dungeon-like labyrinth, building up your card deck in a roguelike style. Enjoy the different deck experience each time you visit the labyrinth as the number of cards increases. Over 300 types of cards and 150 types of treasures await. This game is its kind of looks like old-school Final Fantasy mixed with a side-scroller beat-em-up. Hmm. So it's very, it's a very interesting thing. Yeah, like I said, that one's coming out for this on the 6th. Another one's going to be coming out on the 6th is uh, Quintus and the Absent Truth. And that one also is going to be optimized for Series S and X and also Smart Delivery. So you take the role of a man and his mouse across a sprawling first-person horror adventure. Puzzles like Alan and Quintus encounter often require you to work out which character to use the task at hand. Oh, okay. Do you need uh, Do you need Alan's height to reach the buttons, switch the items that are out of Quinn's reach, or is there a hole simply too tight for Alan to fit through? 
Only by working together can you discover the truth that they seek. It sounds very much like a it takes two type of thing. Yeah. Um, another one. This one looks kind of uh, kind of terrifying. It's called Madison. And this one comes out July 7th and it is optimized for the series SNX. An immersive and terrifying first person psychological horror game featuring disturbing gameplay and unsettling and compelling narrative. Solve puzzles, explore your surroundings, and most importantly, survive. Um, this one I already talked about. Uh, for one of the new games that is coming, Matchpoint Tennis Championships. That's going to be July 7th. It is going to be on Game Pass. It is optimized for Series S and X, and it also is smart delivery. So this one is a modern take on tennis featuring a true-to-life on-court experience supported by a deep career mode and unique rivalry system. The game, place, the game places a strong focus on tactical realism, positioning, and aiming, allowing your player to move uh, their superstar in exactly the right way to get the most out of the shots. And this one will be available on cloud console and PC. <clears throat> Next one I have is Cubite Classics Zero Tolerance by Pico. And that one's going to be on July 7th. So Zero Tolerance is an old school arena shooter that includes three games, Zero Tolerance, Zero Tolerance Underground, and the unreleased demo called Zero Tolerance Beyond, which can be unlocked by finishing one of the two other games. Originally developed for Technopop and published in 1994 by Accolade. It's an old ass game. Uh, next, book. yeah. Next one we have is July eighth. That one is called Adventures of Chris. So you will embark on a global adventure in this '90s inspired adventure platformer. Help a stout underdog kid whose wacky superpowers battle bizarre villains, customize special moves and spells, and of course, you need to save the world. And then we also have Crypt of the Serpent King Remastered, the 4K <clears throat> edition, is going to be coming out July eighth. Uh, goblins, giant spiders, skeletons, orcs, and more await you in the tunnels and halls of the underworld. Wield an array of melee and ranged weaponry from swords to axes to crossbows and maces, each with strength and weakness depending on the foe you face. Each playthrough is unique, offering countless hours of challenge and adventure. And then we also have Eternal Hope. I didn't realize this many games were coming out on fucking Game Pass this month. And there, it, I, 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 as soon as you got to like the eighth one and you were on like July 7th, I was like, Jesus, how many are there? Yeah, it looks like most of them are coming out within the first um, first like two weeks of, uh, of the month. So Eternal Hope is the next one. In Eternal Hope, you'll follow the story of TB, a lonely boy who lost his lo who lost the love of his life. Uh, you'll embark with him on a highly unusual journey. One that might bring the soul of his cherished girlfriend back from the shadowy world, a purgatory like realm. Mm, excuse me but visiting this new world i yawned oh i thought you died you no life. no not yet i still i still have plenty to go oh good um <laughs> so but visiting this new world will not be easy there are dangers to overcome and many mysteries to unearth before you can continue your passage uh the next one yeah all right so there's only two more left so the next one is i talked about during the um the new games uh klonoa fantasy reverie series this one's gonna be july 8th so get ready to set off on an adventure to save the world in a classic side-scrolling platformer. Um, Kelowna Door to Phantom Mile and Kelowna 2, Luntea's Veil, are coming to the series that's the next Xbox One. Set in a unique universe populated by a range of original characters, the series follows the hero, Kelowna, as he sets off on a journey to save the world. Last one I have is Strong Moon, and this is going to be coming out July 8th. An action-adventure video game inspired by 90s cartoons, join our protagonist, Strong Moon, on their quest to find his weird brother who was kidnapped by a deranged magician. Yeah, that's, that, that matches. I mean, that sounds right. Explore Lunaria's planet and become stronger with new allies and mighty muscles. Okay. So that is everything that's going to be coming out for Game Pass. All right, y'all. And that is the new games and the games from Game Pass. Um, Anthony has a list of some of the more notable games that he uh, he saw on for the PlayStation Plus because you just picked that up, correct? Yeah. So um, for the rest of the year or the hundred and whatever days, it, it cost me an extra. It cost me twenty four dollars to basically upgrade for the rest of the year to the PlayStation Premium, which is gives you everything that uh, uh, basically you get from Microsoft Game Pass. Um, now, a couple of the notable games that I did run across, and I read them. I read them to Andy last night when we were uh, before we started playing Shell. Um, so you have Bloodborne, uh, Demon Souls, Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, 
God of War, Miles Morales, PlayStation 5 and PlayStation 4, Spider-Man, but with the upgraded uh, graphics, or not graphics, but basically the, the, the better version for the PlayStation 5, even though it's PlayStation 4. Returnal's on there. Uh, fuck, what else is there? Looks like The Last um, Guardian as well. Yeah, I've that's that's. Wanted, I've always that, wanted to think, play that. Game. I think that is. Yeah, both. Um, that game won a lot of awards for. Uh, it did. Yeah, that that was, was that that wasn't even PS4, was it? Was that PS3? Or was that PS4? No, it was PS4. PS4. Because I I have it downloaded. Um, but also they have a section of games that are trial games that you can play for. Uh, I I don't remember how long the actual trial is for. Um, but in that section they have the new Tiny Tina's game. Okay. Wonderland. Yep. Yeah, boy. That's in there. Cyberpunk's in there. Just like uh, a trial before you buy. That's pretty dope. Yeah, and uh, you also get a discount since you're a PlayStation Plus Premium member. So you can do the trial, and then you get a discount off of the game as well if you That's buy it, cool. obviously, like digital. That's pretty sweet. Um, oh, my God. Uh, oh, uh, Horizon. Horizon. Horizon is also in there. Yep. Okay. Um. Fun games, some solid games. And another, and how many? another, another one of the games that's on the actual premium store that you get to play is uh, NBA Two K Twenty Two. So I thought that was pretty cool. Oh, uh, the 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 PGA Two K Twenty One is on there, which I thought was pretty dope. We did talk about actually trying to play mm-hmm. that, um, yeah. so I might actually jump into that. And you can also, so all of these games that I'm mentioning, you can download or you can stream them directly from the cloud. Nice. You do not have to. You do not have to. Did you go? Okay, so you said you you said you upgraded. So did you go with a second tier or third tier system? Third tier, the premium. So it goes PlayStation. It goes PlayStation Plus, PlayStation Plus Extra. Okay. And then PlayStation Plus Premium, which is basically the top tier, the Game Pass Ultimate. So that's that's what we all have, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's it's the same. It's same same thing. And roughly, oh god, it's a you can pay it for the whole year. You don't have to pay it monthly. Mm. Yes. That's the that one thing my, I do. That's, that's been my gripe. With, it's one hundred nineteen dollars for the entire year. Legit, that's which legit. sounds like a lot, but if you think about it, and you think yeah, about you the games I just spat off, it's not even. It's already. It's already worth it. Oh, and Assassin's Creed Valhalla is on there. Totally forgot to say that because I, I wanted to play that, but I didn't want to spend the money. And now I can fucking play yeah. We it for talked free. about that one for a while. Yeah, it was one of those like it got away from like the, my Assassin's Creed thing that I liked, um, but but being able to. to being able to download it, you because like I said, you can download it or stream it. Being able to download it for free and play it, it's already it literally has paid for itself alone just in the in the couple games that I just mentioned. So one hundred nineteen dollars for the year. I, I totally forgot to to, to say that. Um, um, now and you roughly, can pay for the year. Roughly, how many games are on there? Roughly. Um, r- you know what? I I don't want to give you an incorrect answer and take a guess. Uh, give me a second, um, okay, and let fine. me. Yeah, it's pre- it's pretty dope. I still I'm because still- you get because you get PlayStation, PlayStation Five, PlayStation Four, PlayStation Three, PlayStation Classic, and PSV uh, PS Vita games. I think you can play on there too. Damn, they so- just skipped out PlayStation Two. Well, no, no, sorry, Pl- that's that falls under PlayStation Classic. I did I say PlayStation Classic? You did. I thought that was just like no. That regular, covers you know, like that covers two and one. That covers oh, one and okay. two and PS uh, PS Vita games. Uh, give me a second. Sweet, 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 sweet. sweet. Yeah, that's always, that was always my one gripe with with Game Pass, and I still wonder why they chose for that to be the model. Why you can't pay per year? It's very strange. Because games with cause your your gold membership, you could always pay by year. True. Yes, correct. So it's so it's strange. It's strange that it, it's only month. I mean, it's not the uh, okay. Issue in the so world, but. the all new PlayStation uh, that launched. Now this is including everything. Um, seven hundred plus games. Yeah, I'm seeing that as well. And that's directly from PlayStation. That's not like, you know. Yeah. That's a lot of games. That's First party, third party, but yeah. No, no, no. Everything. That's... Yes, yes, exactly, yes. Everything. Correct. And that's all across the board from PlayStation 5 all the way down. Yep. That's crazy. So... You, know what this, you know what this is kind of like that's really fucking dope if you think about it? And this is going to show just how... Okay, here. And actually, are. check it out. Oh. If you want... And, uh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. No, this go goes ahead, back. Go. This goes back on the pricing. If you want to pay it this way, monthly it's seventeen ninety nine. Quarterly it's forty nine ninety nine. Yearly it's one nineteen ninety nine. 
Okay, so it gives you options. It gives you options. Yep, I wanted to. I totally. I wanted to tell you guys that. I'm sorry. But what's what's dope about this with uh with both Game Pass and the PlayStation, and it's going to show our age a little bit, but also take us back to a hell of a time. Do you remember not long before Blockbuster finally was murdered by Netflix? Mm-hmm. Well, not totally murdered. There is still one kicking, but um. Remember, like, uh, not long, probably in the last couple years, you could have that membership with Blockbuster where you could, I think it was like 15, I think it was like 15 bucks a month or 20 bucks a month or something like that. And you could go in multiple times in a day and rent two games, come back, return them and and try whatever you want. This is essential. Well, I mean, I did. (laughs) <laughs> and Matt used to go. Every, they they thought Matt was my brother, so Matt used to go in and do the same thing and take my take my card. But um, um, this is this is like what yeah. that is. Yeah, Ex- you, you're pay- except for you don't have to go anywhere. <laughs> like fifteen bucks a month, and you just play unlimited games. Okay, so I will say that the PlayStation Plus does add so that seven hundred plus games take three hundred forty of them off, roughly. If you don't do the PlayStation Premium. Uh, if you just go with extra, it's still a lot, and it's still a lot. yeah. So if you go with, if you go with extra, yeah, just like 400, 400 some games. Um, this is also I've been reading a little bit more of the article as you were uh, talking, Andy. Yeah. So the games that you'll get uh, offer cloud streaming access for original PlayStation. Here you go, PlayStation Two, PSP, PlayStation Four, all that kind of stuff. You can uh, also stream the games on the PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five consoles, and the PC. That's pretty sweet. So yeah, you can all yeah you can play your PlayStation games on a PC too. Um, so this whole PlayStation Premium thing is looking cooler and cooler, and I'm kind of glad. So for the like I said, dude, for the twenty and if I have to cancel it, I'll just fucking like change my card. I'll delete oh, the card I'll be, info. I'll be grabbing it. Myself but well. the thing is, for the for the next hundred and fifty days, for the extra twenty four dollars, it's it's worth. It's worth the twenty four dollar twenty four dollar trial, right? So I've spent twenty four dollars on worse things. Exactly, and that's so. I it's funny because we always say that kind of shit, but like it's true. I've spent. I mean it. I've spent more money on more money than twenty four dollars on stupider yeah. fucking things. Um. So yeah, this is going to be worth it. I'm actually excited to try it, and and I'll definitely keep like reporting on it. And I don't think I'm going to play like the PlayStation Five games. I think I'm going to go older. And do some of the streaming and see how it actually streams. That's what I was going to ask you to do. Yeah, I'm not going to download it. I'll do some like maybe some of the older games. Now the thing is, I really want to. I really want to tax this. <clears throat> so what I'm probably going to do, um, since Andy and yeah, Andy more so likes to watch me play games. I'm probably yeah. So I'm probably going to stream it and I'll probably share the screen. Yeah, I'm I'm game. You but what I'm gonna, but but what I want to do is I want to tax the new, si- like I want to tax the new system, yeah. by doing both, and I want to see how well it streams as I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm I'm interested for. Oh God, I'm very interested I'm because I've done that. I have stream. I have done um, a streaming game with OBS, right? And I've streamed a game via the cloud, right? And like it, it did come out choppy for right. you, and- you, you know, first, but then again, at the same time, we all know that my internet's fucking weird. Dude, so, one, one, yeah, yeah, dude. When yeah. when I when I originally was messing with a uh, PS now PlayStation now, I think that was what they all started with. It was so incredibly choppy to the point where it was like borderline unplayable. I was trying to play right. Twisted I Metal, remember that. and I was so psyched, and it was so unbelievably uh, choppy and glitchy. It was it was so frustrating. Like I'm, dude. Yeah, I'm run. I'm looking through some of these. Like, like obviously, Odd World, Abe's Odyssey, New and Tasty. That I mean, that would immediately caught my eye. You know, because but, I love I, I love the Abe's decent, Odd World it's stuff. It's a decent list. And I guarantee Dude, it's you it's a nutty looks, list, man. If Andy looks through the list, I guarantee you there's a game in there he hasn't played. And it has to oh, be. Oh, there is. I, I, I already so. see it. <clears throat> you know, do you know what I'm talking about? Uh huh. Well, he's already played the other ones. I don't have the list, so he's already played one and two. He has not played the next. Yep. Pretty he's sure. A PlayStation game that I've played one and two of, but not Well, not just not necessarily PlayStation, but just a just you, you, you mean it, it is on this list though. Go ahead. What is it? Shenmue three. Oh no no I wasn't talking about that. But oh, you haven't oh, played that one yet. Yeah it is on there. That is touche. It is on there. No. Um. Last of Us. Uh yeah 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 yeah. Oh I'll certainly play. You have the Last of Us remastered. Last of Us Left Behind. Last of Us Left Behind. The fuck is that? 
Aha! See? That's a game you have not played. I have not. So there you go. I absolutely have not. So, but uh, yes, I will. I will. I will report in on this as much as I can. Um, Fuck yeah! Love to hear it. I'm actually really, really excited. Like I said, for the for the price, it dude, it can't be matched. For now, for now. Now, if it if I'm play if I'm streaming games and it's like Andy says and it's choppy and it's shitty and I have to download the games, then so be it. But that's something I report on, obviously. But I mean, like, it, don't at least at that point we'll know. Yeah, like don't report. And I have decent internet, so like don't don't stream. Just download the games and play. <laughs> Do yourself that favor. But but the list, the list of games is what got me excited. The list is yeah, crazy. It yes, it's a solid. It's a very solid list considering this just came online not that long ago. I think it was May. They really talked about the pricing and all that kind of stuff. Yep. And then the beginning of June is when I think it actually went online. At least here in the states, I think it was over. <clears throat> I think in the, in Japan, I think it went online sooner. Um, but still the, the, the list of games oh that God. they have for this just going online is, is, is very good. Um, Holy shit. Yo, you ready for this? Listen to this. Go ahead. Give me that. Resident Evil 4 HD, Resident Evil 5 Gold, Resident Evil 6, Resident Evil Code Veronica X, Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, Resident Evil Revelations, Resident Evil Revelations 2, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Resident Evil The Umbrella Chronicles. <laughs> hey, Andy, you know how like when you have to like, play those games Jesus. and they're like hey buy the next chapter for this you don't have to do that with those <laughs> you just download them and play them Jeez, or you just stream them and play them man. play them from the cloud so like i said the 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 list of games um yeah it's it's Bro, it's yes just it's, out of curiosity awesome. yeah just out of curiosity because they did i it was purchased to me for me i believe for my ps4 when i had it are there any mega man games on there Pretty sure. By like, any chance? All of them. Wes, you still have the list up? I don't. God. I don't. My pickle is incredibly tickled. Mega Man 9 and 10 are what I've seen. It's okay. still not bad. Yeah, that's it. Just Mega have... Man 9 and 10. No Mega Man Legacy Collection or anything like that? Uh, uh, me, no, so I don't that. see that. I that's just fine. typed in Mega and I see, I mean, I got both Mega Mans here. I think I, I have the Legacy Collection if you want it. I, I have both of them. So, <laughs> I think I got it. I was just, I was just, sitting I was just upstairs. Wondering if they were on there. Oh yeah. my god, you have so many Lego games too. Yes, yes, I saw that, which is really cool. I'm, I'm kind saga. of saga. Oh, nice yep. Star Wars. Yep, that would be lit. It's insane. <clears throat> I would love. I could. I would love to just pop on right now and say, "Hey, look, here's the whole list." I just read it. <laughs> yeah, we don't have enough time. We, no, we honestly no. don't have enough time for that. Yeah, there's. But yo, seven hundred games. It's insane. Appreciate you fucking throwing that out there, man. Yeah, I, I am excited to hear. Next week, I mean, what you what you might have to say. Yeah, I'm excited to play. Hell yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. That is what we have in free and new. You know what happens next. Yeah, usually news, but we're not doing news. <laughs> so let's cut it to let let's cut it to the echo. So now it is time to go ahead and let all the crew members at home and the ones abroad. We're gonna tell you what we are. Playing. All right, so I went to some fireworks last night, so I have no idea what happened. So I need y'all ah. to go ahead and explain to me. Well, not explain to me, but tell me. How was Chell? It was good. We went two and one. And the first game we played, we lost to... We two actually... One. Give us credit. Two oh, and two one. one. Sorry, sorry. Two oh Overtime one. loss, okay. Uh, and the overtime loss was to a top hundred team. Yeah, again. they were. Uh, they were again. 88th. Yeah, eighty eighth. It drove me. I was like, dude, when are we gonna win? We will. We so we close. will. Nah, dude. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's weird. This, it. It's weird. The score. The score was close, but none of the other stats were close. They had us right. by like six minutes in time on attack. I feel like they doubled our shots and like tripled us in. Well, I always expect every team to triple us in faceoff wins without you there, but yeah, um, they like they were. Like just running us in circles, but and they were so we were so confused because they were so big but so fast. Yeah, they so were incredibly fast. Yeah, dude, they I'm were talking like, like I'm talking like catching red line breakaways where normally it's like, oh, we got so much time to figure out what to do. And dude, they you get a breakaway at the red line, they would catch you by the blue line. Yeah, it was it was stupid. It, was, it, it was insane. <clears throat> like from a full stop. And I always but, thought Andy and I had like the fastest builds. Nope, I guess not. There's got to be, there's something out there that says you can be like six foot two plus and super quick. 
it's insane. Yeah, I'd love to know what that is. Yeah, yeah. Tell me about but, it. Yeah, we so we lost we lost to them two one in uh, overtime. In overtime. Yeah, and then we Great won. Game, and then I think the next two games were also one goal games, weren't they? I think we won one one nothing or two one. We won one. Yeah. We won one game. The next game we won, we were up 2 nothing. They scored a goal, I think, in the third. We won 2-1. And then the last game, I think we won, it was one to nothing. Yeah. Possibly, yeah. Yeah. It was a, um, it was, I mean, it, it was, was a was solid, solid night took, of Chels, it took mad, solid teams. It took, it took mad long to find the first two it, games, too. It did. It did. Uh, okay. It, it was so it was, long that's that why we, Andy and I were actually trading, well, attempting to trade <laughs> for like 30 minutes, but somebody forgot to connect to the internet. Bro, we were sitting there. I set the I set the link code. Excuse me, and and it, I'm like, and we're trying to figure out everything. It's, it's been like fucking 15 minutes. We're waiting for a game, and I'm like, dude, it never takes Wes this long to get to me. I'm and I'm fucking sitting here questioning him a million times. I'm like, bro, did you put the number in right? Like, are you sure you did all sevens? Blah blah blah. And he was just like, you know what? Let me check real quick just to make sure that my internet's connected. And I was just like, you know what? Let me check too. And then I looked, and I was like, oh, uh, oh, I didn't hit the start button. Yeah, I was like, oh, I'm. <laughs> I'm on local mm. here. I'm on I local here. Let me, con- mm. let me connect to the internet here. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay because Wes had a funny one today. Oh, connect to so, the yeah. fucking internet. Two no, minutes later, we bro. find each other. Fuck, bro. This, bro. Acu- this this fucking accusatory bastard over here. Oh. I'm si- I go I go upstairs. <laughs> this is I've been called worse by you, but go ahead. I was I was upstairs. Uh, <laughs> Cam- Cameron just woke up, so I took him out of his crib, let him you know run around. Alex was downstairs taking a nap, so I was like, fuck it. I brought my switch with me chilled in the rocking chair and I, that's when i texted you guys and said hey can anyone uh trade yeah. me right now and, and right. Wes was like yeah i got you so i was like cool kids were, were out the house some... wife was out so yeah. Yeah, i mean i, I had some like, time cool. we're, we're gonna do what i call the the trade backsies the ones where like you have to trade someone something for it to evolve and then they trade it back to you so i was like yeah let's do that i set the code i give west the code and then like 10 minutes later i'm right ra- <laughs> i randomly get a phone call from him and i pick up the phone and he's just like I thought you were. Sa- I thought you said we were doing trade backs. He's. I was like, we are. He's like, well, why the fuck did you send me a score bunny? I'm like, bro, you ain't trading with me. <laughs> I'm still. There was somebody my- else <laughs> that used all that that used our code. <laughs> and I'm sitting there playing. He's like, why you send me a score bunny? I'm like, I didn't send you shit. That's what I'm bro. saying, I'm like- yo. It's like trade back season with a fucking score bunny. It makes no goddamn sense. That fucking confused like, the shit out of me. Damn. I was like, bro. I was like, bro, you ain't look where it says who your trade partner is. <laughs> But it's okay, so me. all right, so the way that I have my menu set up is that I get to look at like my moves of the character of uh, the Pokemon I'm looking at. So if you so when you pull your menu up and you hit um you're the gear of Pokemon and you hit the plus, it'll give you that look instead of seeing what the Pokemon looks like on the right hand side. Well, maybe you're gonna want to uh, switch it so you know who you're. Oh, I did Pokemon. now. You know, how salty, now. you know how salty you'd have been if you were legitimately doing a trade back season or you were trading a Pokemon that you really wanted back and just gave it to some rando? Um, yeah, that, uh... He's like, I fucking did! That Anu, or whatever it is that I threw you first for that trade back season because I had nothing else to throw you? The thing that you one, uh, I said, what yeah, the that fuck psychic, yeah. Like a set of fucking fish bones? <laughs> oh, that? no, that's a different one. But, um, oh. yeah, no, somebody, somebody canceled the, uh, the trade because they were like, the fuck's he trade me a legendary for a score bunny for? What the fuck's going on? Like... <laughs> Because that's what it was. It was one of the legendaries. It was one of the little legendary ones, uh, little little psychic types. Yeah. Yeah. Funny enough, we're we're all playing Pokemon Sword or Shield right now. We're just all yes. in different parts. Anthony's like just just finishing, so he can move on to. I uh, am literally d- sh- one, one brilliant one fucking Pokemon away from collecting all three Pokedex. Is God. <laughs> I hope you better. You be, don't you dare pop in one of those new games before you go and get your diploma, though. I got it. I got two out of the three. I'm doing it. All right. <laughs> Supposedly, uh, Wes has yeah, so, got like the fucking horse I need. So, yeah. And uh, I that need, might happen. I'm just. I'm good. in the uh, tomorrow or something. I'm. Be, I'm just, good. I'm gotcha. grinding in the uh, the lake of outrage because that's where all the highest shit is to just evolve the stuff that I need to evolve. Everything there's at least like a between like a level 55 and 65 everything i see there is level 60 yeah it's it's all it's all right in there yeah so anything that i need to evolve i just go up there and start piecing shit up and i'm about to set off one of those uh do a little wish wish piece oh i love inside inside the thing over in the yeah over in that one little uh little alcove i uh yeah in the lake of outrage you you, like like all the way over on the right side yeah of the lake yeah i'm a i'm gonna set one off right there and i'm gonna go ahead and do that while i was deployed when you were deployed dude 
Yeah, we used to do that shit for hours. Those Dynamax hours. battles. Oh my we god. Did, yo, we do. We honestly, we did for hours. Yeah. Be like, we hey, I'm cutting it off, dude. Cool. It's, dude, it's worth it because we that's ran my, fucking that's hard. My, that's my whole process when I start the day because all these Pokemon that I'm evolving right now, it's just yeah. to fill out the decks. I'm not going to use them. So exactly. when I start, the, so when yep. I start the day, I go in. <laughs> I start at the the meetup spot in the wild area, and I just cruise all the dens that have like the Dynamax shit going on. Yeah, I go in, invite people, do them, get as many of the the EXP. Like the the medium large and extra oh, large. Fuck yeah, dude! And then once once I make my round, I have enough to evolve probably like twenty or thirty Pokemon in one shot. I, I have I, I have like over two hundred large. I um, think I have about the same XP things. Yeah, I have. I have yeah. Well, couple, if you guys did all that, I imagine so. Yeah, yeah. but oh, yeah. I, I do. I'm, I'm I will say. Like I will say. I do really. I really enjoy the XP candies. Instead yeah. of just the rare candy, like the rare candy is yeah, cool. So smart. It's it so is. Smart it is, and it, like, it adds like a, it adds like a, it adds a cool little like. Um, I like almost a, feel like like a little twist on they, leveling up. Yeah, I, I almost feel like they knew they had to do it because every year yeah. they're adding like a hundred Pokemon. Yeah. Okay. So, so unless, unless you're exactly. unless you're like, oh, no one's gonna buy my next game because they've still got they're working on their five hundredth hour in the last one to level everything up. So well, five, dude, if so you so think was, about it though. So I've been large working... candy, large candy. I have one hundred fifty-seven. There you go. XL, I have, I have eighty-three. I have, I have like four, three, and two. Medium, because... I have one hundred thirty-six. <laughs> What's crazy though is if you think about this though. So I've been playing this game, right? I picked this up because I downloaded the. Uh, I have the downloadable version. Um, I picked it up when I was deployed. That game because that's when it dropped. So I've I've been playing yeah. this game. I have been doing these. Three Pokedexes for fucking two years now. Yep. A little over two years. Yep. So that's six, 650, 650 Pokemon, right? That's what you mm -hmm. guys said? So mm -hmm. 649 Pokemon took me... I mean, now I did take a break. I probably could have, like, really, like, grinded out. But had I not taken a break, I wouldn't have taken two years. But doing it here and there, two years, 650 Pokemon. Yeah. And it's I'll tell wild. you what, some, some of these fucking Pokemon, you... You would have to look up how they evolve, because you would never fucking you would ne like friendly. Thing, it oh, turns what's you got to turn Al it upside down? That one, yeah, for um Mal Malamar or whatever the fuck. It's yes, the, 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 the fucking in yeah, and Malamar. You have to you have to turn it upside down it's, and evolve it. It's cool though. I mean, you would never it is, think it, it is. Yeah, it is dope. And the one where you have to 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 get uh, I think it's like Al Creamy or whatever the whipped cream jam where you have to do the spin. Yep. While yep. you're holding like an item or some shit, like you yep. would never think to do that. Ever. I know. <laughs> no, it's so those, espe right. especially especially the one for Inke because I I was looking. I'm like, why the fuck won't this thing evolve? And then I looked it up, and they were like, while you're on the like the XP screen or whatever before you level it up, have your switch upside down in handheld mode to make sure all other controllers are disconnected. I was like, that is goddamn odd. What the fuck? It's yeah. like, it's cool that they did that, <laughs> but it's make okay. you really pay attention on you know what I mean on on what you're doing. You, yo, they know the hardcore people when they find them. <laughs> you, yeah, like you turn upside down. What do you mean? It's like oh, you th they were like oh, you thought it was difficult when we needed when we started adding that you had to like slap on hold items for certain things to evolve. Now you got to fucking spin your damn system around and do all this goofy shit. I actually saw I this just, really sick video. I, th I think I sent it to you, Andy, to where it was a level one Rattata. Yeah, can yep, beat yep, yep. a level one hundred Mewtwo. <laughs> yeah, shut the um, front yeah. door. It was, it was you, crazy. Legit, hundred yeah. percent. You can do it. Yeah, yeah. I'll send you the video. It's a certain. It's a certain move set and and stuff, and, but, and hold yeah, item. Yeah. It's a certain move set and hold item. And yeah, it's 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 not quick, <laughs> but no. But you can. I mean, it's it's like it's under five moves. Yeah, but it's still bananas. Yeah, it's it's wild, but um. What I want to know, what's what's wild, is somebody took the time out to do that. To figure that out? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. um, The fuck? What was I about to say? What were we That's too much time. The, the hold items. Oh, yeah. I just got... I, I was going crazy over just trying to evolve this stupid fucking rock rough. Because I got a rock rough, and it's like... I didn't realize that it had three different forms it could turn into. Mm -hmm. So... I'm sitting here like, what are the odds that, it, you know, so I was like, okay, one evolves during the day, one evolves at night. I don't know what the third one is, but either way, if I evolve this thing at some point, I'm going to get something. So I evolved the damn thing during the day, got nothing, evolved it during at night, got nothing. I was like, what the fuck is happening? So I looked it up and because it has 
the ability own tempo. It's that third form where you have to evolve it between seven o'clock and seven fifty nine. That's <laughs> the only it. window of opportunity you have. <laughs> You're like, because it's because it's the rock version. Yeah, so you get a you get a dark version if you do it at night. You get the the rock version if you do it between seven and seven fifty nine. Yep, and then. I'm pretty sure I got stuck with the same one you did because <laughs> I was like, "All right, I'm. Why, so why are you not doing evolve? this?" Yeah. <laughs> but also, Wes is running into some issues too. The, the same as me is that some of them are we like trying to get all the EV evolutions. I got there's all, some. There's some. No, no. I mean, I have I have all the EVs I need. I have all the stones I need. And I have you, everything I need to do it. But also, some of them don't respond catch, to certain stones. You can catch them. Yeah, I know. I've, I, I just caught a glacier earlier. Like that. Stuff like that. The Sorry only the only two I need left are the two that I need to evolve with uh, with uh, with friendship, which is which is fine because I you know I know how to do it. it's easy enough just feed them berries and that's it really. But uh, berries so, and uh, make them curry. It'll also help you yeah. complete your curry decks. So do slap, that too. Slap a slap a soothe bell on them and yep yeah. I didn't realize there was so much curry because the uh, the yeah, there's like hundred plus hundred fifty one yeah. yeah. Fuck that. The, the, I got the 22. App I, I'm good. The app that I use, the uh, CTA decks, the same one that Wes has, the CTA decks. Yeah, can you the... send me a picture of that? I was looking for it when you guys were talking I'm, about yeah. it. I got you. Absolutely. Send me a screenshot. Yeah. yeah. Wes has uh, sent it to you now. Yeah, it has the uh, it has the national decks for Arceus, Sword Shield, the Let's Go games, and it also has the Curry wow. decks in there. That's fucking amazing. Yeah, it's legit. Um, But yeah, some, some of the EVs I noticed, like when I wanted Flareon, any time back back in the day before this game, you need a flare and just get a firestone, slap yeah. it on the Eevee, you're good to go. Roger there's up. some there's some Eevees now, no matter what stone you have, it says incompatible. Yep. And I'm like, what the fuck? And Wes is running into that. He can't get his Raichu because it's saying that his Pikachu will not accept the Thunderstone. It's like, what the fuck? What? And I don't know why. It's not holding any. Well, he has to check if it's I got double check items, but I only okay, have it's holding it's, anything. It's, that's wild because do you remember remember Pokemon Yellow? You couldn't give Pikachu the Well, yeah, because because he was the you mean can you right? I mean he was the yeah. main yeah. one for that game. It makes sense that they didn't want to make him Raichu. But because how he because the Pikachu too? in the T V show but remember, wait, wait, went wait, to Raichu. Yeah, look, man, shit's yeah. weird, okay? Did, okay, did, well go into that here, Pikachu, yeah. see if you could teach him surf. Here's another thing. How cool Did would that be? That would be the Pika, the uh the Pikachu that you're trying to evolve. Is that the Pikachu that you got from one of your Let's Go games? No. Okay, because I was going to say, if so, that's why. Because any Eevee that you get from your Let's Go games, you cannot evolve into anything else. And the same thing with the Pikachu from uh, Let's Go Pikachu. Nah, somebody got I it did from read the that. Stony Wilderness. I mean, I got it. I mean, uh, I've, I mean, I have it because of, you know I mean, trade, but. Yeah, it's weird. I don't I don't know. That's so why. wild. I never ran into that. No issue. held item either. Yeah. I didn't. I thought I was the only one. Uh, Wes, I'll with trade the, you. Trade Eevees. it to me, and I'll see if I can force it down its throat. I'll yell at it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Drunk your fucking stone. <laughs> Sorry. But yeah. Huh? I feel like that's what we're Wes all doing. Is. Unless Wes has something else that I'm unaware of. Um still rocking Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, uh running that a little bit. It's been fucking fun, dude. Honestly, it it is it is exactly what you wanted from like a Borderlands 3 game. Honestly. And Borderlands 3 was fun. It was a good time. But like this is essentially Borderlands 2.5 and it is perfect. Because you have a younger Tina, you know what I mean. I mean, it, I mean, you're running this in between Borderlands Two and Borderlands Three. So honestly, okay. it's a fantastic game. But um, yeah, nah, man, just trying to work on getting my shinies, my legendary stuff, and then also getting shinies in Pokemon. Everything's about shinies for me. I love it. I love shinies. Shiny is miny. Goddamn kids shows. Okay. Um, did you did did you complete the the main um the main Pokedex? Main Pokedex, I am. I think I'm like ten or twenty off. Okay, let me know what you need. Stop hunting for your shinies because when you complete the main Pokedex, you get a shiny charm, which increases your chance of shinies. And with that, we will end. So I can go ahead and tell y'all where you can connect with CGC. Look, man, I find my ways to find my transitions. All right, I like it. I like it. I'm not. I'm not even. I'm not even angry at it. I like it. You can go to our website, which is consolegamingcrew.com, or our email, which is consolegamingcrew at gmail.com. Our Twitter is at consolecrew, which is the best place you can find us. Our YouTube and Instagram are both console gaming crew. As you heard in the beginning of the episode, I will tell you again about bossrush.net, the best place that you can go to find anything gaming and non-gaming related items. C cosplay, don't matter. You want to talk to people doing 1v1 conversations with, with one of our favorite people in the network, Celeste, 
Absolutely do it, man. It is the best place to go. Guarantee it. BossRush.net. We also have a Twitch, which is CGC Podcast. We have my co-op Monday nights, which is where I run with uh, my boy Mike from the Twisted Cape Podcast, as well as my other boys, Hav and Dan. We are currently running Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, but we all got Fall Guys set up. And we are going to run some shit to yeet motherfuckers. Let's go. <laughs> actually, I, I, I don't think that, that's actually happening tonight because you need a group of 10 in order to create your own private party. Seriously? Yes. That's a lot. And, and you're, playing that on, you're playing that on what? Uh, I'll play it on the Xbox, but it's cross it's cross play. So people with Switches, people with PC, people with um, PlayStation yeah, all, all run together. I'm pretty sure it's free on the Switch too right now. Yeah, it is. I, dude, I already have it downloaded on the Switch. So does Jess. That's amazing. That's amazing. So yeah, man, it is it is gonna be Yeet Central tonight. It's gonna be fun. Nice. Um also you have the fun Fridays, which are normally we're playing Chell. Like I said before, we are gonna get some freaky stuff going on. Not sure which day, but it will happen soon. But yeah, man, that's where we are. So I hope everybody is having a fun and safe summer so far. I hope y'all continue to have a fun and safe summer. And I want to ask everybody to please stay safe, wash your hands, mask up if you need to, do what you got to do to feel safe in this wacky, wacky world. And as always, players, game on, baby. Bye. <laughs> game on, y'all. Be good. Much love. Peace. <laughs>